and welcome back to my part 8 of the Bioshock Infinite Call playthrough. Find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. But look, the shrine. It's the figure of Comstock now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines! Very dangerous! No place for stupid people! Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Heal my husband? Calm his troubled thoughts? Ease his burden? Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe if, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. 
Did you notice? Lynn had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. Miss Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. Yourself, I ask. The ox cannot become a lion, and why would you want to? Who wants all those responsibilities? <laughs> no, mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. Now! You bet. Great! You need salt! Do it! All right! Where is he? I'm here!
You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. It must seem ridiculous. You just gotta tell the bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have me. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak but to them. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy everything they're selling to keep you down. But Daisy Fitzroy says there's another way. Another way coming real soon. These people are like this because of Fink? Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. I guess we could head straight for the police station. Or see what's in that bar. What do you think? Soldiers, 
Okay, there's the impact. We're gonna have to get through an arm to get those tools. One spark. That'll do! Why are you so special? Grizzly traps around the lines up here. Idea was to to bleed one of your couriers till he gave you up. Except of course, you're using kids now. Now I got this tiny engine boy. Eyeballing me. Tried to take his leg off. Things just lying here between us. I sure wish he'd cry or something.
Elizabeth! Done! Fancy putting those lock picking skills to work? Keep a lookout. Done. Yay. Now we just have to get them back to the Vox, and then we get our airship. You wanna take a look at this? I'll give it a whirl. There you go. Who are we really helping by getting guns for the Vox Populi? It's gonna help us. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure. We sure as hell aren't gonna be able to carry all this back to the shop. God, we didn't think this all the way through. What is that? It looks like a tear. To a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. Well, if the tools aren't in there, then... Then they must be back, back at the, the shop. shop. Booker, if we go into this tear, I don't think there's any turning back. Are you sure you want to go now? Open the tear, come on. Let's head back to the gunsmith and finish our deal. We need to be on that ship. We'll shut up for too long. Booker, if the Vox get their weapons, there's going to be a revolution just like Les Miserables. These people are gonna have better lives. Yeah. Get another fire. 
before the first flame, you see them possums and squirrels running through the trees. They know what's coming. But the fat bears with their bellies full of honey, well, you can't hardly wake them up from their comfortable hibernation. We're going to Emporium, and then we're going to see what it takes to rouse them from their slumber. Can you feel it? Daisy's moved these people. Things can change, Booker, and we can be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place. Heroes. Booker. Don't know us. Hard to think of. Two memories in the same Booker, place. Booker, come back to me. We're going to find Daisy Fitzroy. And we're getting out of here on the first lady. Let's go. I wanted to feed my family. <laughs>
Go ahead. On it! brought us to a world where the Vox had weapons. Or I created one. opened a door to this world and we stepped through. Are you sure, Booker? Did I just bring us to a world where Chenlin was alive? Or, or did I create it? I told you I always thought that my little trick was a form of wish fulfillment. I got my wish. Looks like I got a friend in town after all. Slate. He's fell in with these Vox Populi. And for irregulars, I will say, they are loaded for bear. The problem is, I gotta help them with their damn revolution first. Then we take Comstock House by storm. I do that, I get the girl. The monkey that shoveled this coal! If he could feed you hay, he'd feed you hay. If he could bed you down in straw, he'd bed you down in straw. And when your arms get frail and your legs grow weak, they'll bleed you dry. <laughs> Onward! Ah! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> 
can't get that door open unless someone takes that airship out. Are we volunteering? the engine and bring this thing down. Sabotage the engine to bring this thing down. Okay, now to get off this thing. She was coming here for Fink. We need to take that elevator up. Bet at least to Fink's office. Just right for each other, aren't they? Who? It's Rory and Comstock. Oh. Mei Lin? Me 
Mr. Lin? My God, I... I was so set on getting to Paris, I, I didn't really think that... You couldn't have known is what happened. I had a role in this catastrophe. If, if you want to pretend that we're purely innocents in this, then that's your prerogative, but... Listen, I got you your guns. I'm here for my airship. But my Booker DeWitt died for the Vox Populi. You either an imposter or a ghost. My Booker DeWitt was a hero to the cause, a story to tell your children. You, you just complicate the narrative. We have to kill her then. Elizabeth.
great! Much obliged! <laughs> child. Fucker, we have to do something. We have to act. We have to get in there. Come on, Booker. We've, we've got to get out of here. Boost me up. Go to the window and distract Daisy. Go! Is this it? Is this your movement, Daisy? This is what needs to be done. You see, the founders ain't nothing but weeds. Cut them down and they just grow back. If you want to get rid of the weed, you got to pull it up from the root. It's the only way to be... Why don't you just come out of there? What are you doing? 
doing in there? This is all they had. Listen. How do you do it? How do I do what? Forget. How do you wash away the things that you've done? You don't. You just learn to live with it. So the moment of truth between us. New York or Paris? Shit. Come on, we gotta find a way to make this thing go faster. It's got to be some sort of throttle or accelerator Do you know what that looks like? I don't know. Help me find it. Well, this concludes part 8 of my Bioshock Infinite playthrough. Definitely check it later for hopefully the last part, number 9.